Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. In the face! In the face! Stop being such a fucking degenerate. Okay, 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 okay. Are you ordering me to do a thing? Bring your whole force. I am not intimidated at all, man. Fucking degenerate. Are you aware of your constitution? Yeah. Did you just swear to uphold? Yeah. You are? Yes, sir. Can you get your supervisor out here, please? Uh, yeah, sure. You do understand that you were, you were, uh, that, that we were not operating in commerce? Yeah, she, y'all were driving on a public road, frequenting. We, we have road. the right, we have our. Will these morons ever not confuse right to travel with freedom of movement? No, I don't think they ever will. God given right by, 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 the, by the constitution. No, we don't answer questions. Oh, uh, and she's evoking her her fundamental okay, rights. Well, to... she's been uh, she was operating a motor vehicle, sir, and therefore she will give me her license registration. Do you plan to accost her for invoke? She's invoking her fundamental hey, rights. Sir, she can invoke all the rights she wants, but if she fails to identify Whoa. herself or provide identification, we're going to take her out the car and take her to jail. She can invoke all the rights she wants, but if she fails to identify Whoa. herself or provide identification, we're going to take her out the car and take her to jail. She can invoke all the rights she wants, but if she fails to identify Whoa. herself or provide identification, we're going to take her out the car and take her to jail. You could play it back as many times as you want. It's never going to change. The officer is 100% right. That's you can't do that. Yes, we can. No, you can't. You you are not required by law. You are. you are not. Ma'am, are you going to provide identification for us? Get your get, get your get your supervisor out here. Ma'am, are you going to provide identification? Get your supervisor out here. You're not involved in this traffic stop because you keep I am. Hey, hey, you can't hey, take Chevy, me to jail. Stop. Chevy, stop. Okay. Uh this is you guys we're, we're going you guys are going to hear about this. Huh? I don't understand. That's fine. Keep your hands where I can see him. My hands are where, hey, you don't worry about me. No, I am worried about you. Keep your hands where I can see him. <laughs> you know, you're breaking so many laws right now. Do you guys have your, do you have, do you have, do you, do you have your, do you have your uh, body cameras on, please? Yes, sir. You're, you, you, are, you are recording this? Yes. Okay, awesome. So, um, do you have, uh, do you, do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. You do need a warrant. No. No, I don't. You absolutely do. Probable cause was seen when your dark window. There's no probable cause. There Traffic, is, your are too do you have the right, the God given right to travel? Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, you got the God given right to travel on your highways and byways uninterrupted and unmolested. You seem to have forgotten that that does not include motor vehicles, but I digress. We're trying to be completely cooperative here, okay? Um, we want your supervisor here. Okay, well, guess what? He's on his way. Okay. So, License, registration, proof of insurance. She invoked your Fifth Amendment rights. That's not how. How do I do that? Say, just say I'm invoking my That's my fundamental rights. I want my I want my I want my right to I want my attorney. And I, uh, uh, are we free to go? No. no. There are, so then we're going to consider that we're under custodial arrest. You're under custodial detainment. No, we're under custodial arrest. There's no there's no difference. And so right now we are taking we want our we want our rights read to us. Give us read us our Miranda rights, please. This guy is. F Stop it! Can you read us our Miranda warnings? No, I'm not, because you're not in custody. But it's a, you don't have to be in custody. Yeah, you you, you're either free to go or you're that not. Do with this, and if you keep inserting yourself into this conversation, you can go to jail for obstructing. I, that's not. That's not even a. That's not even real. Ready? Where did you get your law license? Where did you Where did you graduate from? You, you, you should not. Window tent. Window tent. My ass. No, you cannot be punished for invoking your rights. Can I give you one? You can. You can identify verbal. If if it since we're under custodial arrest, if you can identify verbally. Hey, buddy, where'd you get your law license? Oh, that's right. You don't have one. It's also a crime to drive a vehicle and not provide a driver's license. It is not. It's not so you're saying that you're saying that the, the, the statues that 
you're saying the codes and statutes are supersede. That, that is not true. It is. Do you you saying that? So you're saying your code supersede. You're saying your code supersedes the the the, the Supreme Court and the U.S. Constitution. I do know what I'm talking about. You have the right to drive on the highways and the byways. He's making this stop way more difficult than what it needs to No, you guys are fucking with us and we're sick of it. Oh, poor baby. You're fucking with us and we're sick of it. No, she's not. That's bullshit. You ain't getting, nobody's getting out of the truck. We want your supervisor. Here, now. And what's your name? And badge number. What's your, what's your name? All right. You don't have to identify. I don't have to? No. We want your supervisor here now. Okay, he's pulling up, but he's going to tell you the exact same thing we're he's doing. He's not. Our, our senior officer is arriving up soon. You have to have, you have to be operating in commercial capacity for you to pull us over. The, the driver's you're license driving, is, no, that's bullshit. That does not mean anything. Yes, it does. You it does. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Driver's license vehicle or you do not. Licenses are only for people that, that are uh, licenses. You, you don't, you never read the Constitution. Yes, I have read the Constitution. Then why, then why are we having such a problem here? Why are you, you're the one that's causing a problem. This is going to, we're streaming to YouTube right now. So, crazy. And so you're telling me that, that. Yeah, I'm telling you. You have well, so, so yeah. you and, and we and we identified that we uh, were not. Hey, hey, buddy. So we were we were we informed the officers here that we were not operating in commercial capacity. We were not um, transportation, and we were not um, uh, operating in commerce. Um, okay. uh, She's not required. Well, I mean, do I mean you do you do know the Constitution? You do know the Supreme Court, right? Honey, honey, you can get out under you can you can get out under uh, distress and coercion. She don't don't say don't do it. Hey, they're trying to make her step out of the car. Can you're I just gonna, get, you're can allow I give this? you my license number? You're gonna allow this? All right, all right. Can you I guys... give you my license number? She she she, she can she can verbally she can she can she yeah she can verbally identify. If you guys, what, what's your name, Adam Chevy. Hi. All right. And you're the supervisor. 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 No, 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 no. That's not the supervisor. He's not the supervisor. We want the supervisor here. And remember, the police are not obligated to get you a supervisor. We want the supervisor here. Hey, 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 so go, go ahead. Go no, it wasn't a traffic stop. Hey, honey. Hey. Hey. Under, 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 under. Uh, and you're only doing so under threat of coercion. Uh, they, you guys are being tyrants right now. Hey, you're going you're gonna to hear about this, boy. You work for us. We are the people. You're exactly right. We are the people. You're exactly right. And you, you, what you're doing right now is fucking bullshit. Okay. Fucking, fucking tinted window. My ass.
reason to accost us right now. Okay. You should not take an oath to defend something you've never read. Okay. That's why there's a justice system. And this is not justice. No, you, no you, you do not know justice. You don't know. You don't. You don't. You don't. Do me a favor, man. When you get done with this stuff, yeah. go back and look it up and see if what I'm saying is the truth. Apologize to me when no. you find out. Huh? No. You won't apologize to me? Because I know that window tint, sir, is probable cause to stop somebody. Okay, that's, 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 that is not a law. It is. No, it's not. Okay. It's, it is a code. It is. a statutory is not it does not supersede the law of the land it's a common law jurisdiction do you know what a common law jurisdiction is sir i don't i don't know if you think you know what you're talking about i know exactly what i'm talking okay. about the I sad just, thing is that you don't and you're out here policing our streets i think we'll agree to disagree on this no we're not we can't i think we will though uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna find out that I'm a um, hundred million percent right okay. as soon as I as soon as I take this a step further. You could try, but you're one hundred percent going to fail, like every other sovereign citizen. All right. If you're right, then you're right. I am right. Statutes and codes. You tell me, statutes and codes supersede the Supreme Court law and the, and the Constitution of the United States. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Did you even say, did you even think that is, it scares the shit out of me that you're on the streets policing people? Okay. You don't need a license to drive. You do. You do not. Okay. It's a privilege. It is not a privilege. It's your God-given right. <laughs> It actually says it's not a privilege. It says it's your God-given right under the common law jurisdiction. Okay. You have the right to travel being a horse dog buggy or, or motor vehicle. And, 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 and there is nobody that needs a license except for somebody operating in commerce. Wow. The land of make-believe. Okay. You tell me that doesn't say that. I'm not opposing anything you're saying. I'm just saying that... You do you, and uh, we're gonna do us. So you're, but you're being a tyrant. Where you don't even know the law. That's your opinion. It's not my opinion. It's a goddamn fact. Okay. Where's your supervisor? I have a senior officer who I'm supervisor on duty right now. Well, somebody better get somebody. Uh, you, you feel free to file a complaint. Oh, I'm going to file a complaint. But there's no supervisors. Uh, I'll just go ahead and add. I'll just go ahead and add this in the lawsuit. No, you're not. You don't have consent to do so. I just talked to the driver. All right. It's not your vehicle, is it? Okay. You're gonna be famous. Oh, okay. I'll save that fucking horse shit, man. We were a bunch of tyrants. It's your own fault for doing this crap while she's sick. It's also her fault for listening to you, but don't try to play the pity game. Not gonna work. This all could have been avoided. That's not my problem, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, it's, 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 that's, you, guys, it's, uh, you guys aren't set up uh, uh, appropriately. Okay. Well, um, we're not required by the law to provide you a supervisor. You are. Which law was that be? Huh? Which law would that be? That you're a public servant and you have to you have to provide your supervisor upon request. <laughs> it's the same as your. It's, it's you got an ID. I don't have to ID. Okay. Okay. There's no law that says I have to identify myself either. If I'm, if your I'm your policy, name and your badge number. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 you work for us. You okay? You, you, we the people. Yeah. You ever heard of that? Oh, I. I I've served to defend it. So. I, I, I can't tell. Okay. You don't know the Constitution. Well, I've swore the oath twice, so. And so and you you ought to be you ought to be arrested for that. Uh, arrested. 
I can make a citizen's arrest for you to stop and accost us after we, we have been uh, already identified as not traveling in commerce. You are committing a, a felony. As a matter of fact, you're committing a felony for using your emergency lights to pull me over for a non-emergency. Is that right? Absolutely right. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to issue a citation for the window tent and insurance, okay? Because you failed to provide any insurance, all right? So, you can provide that copy of insurance in the, in, uh, the city court. And if you have insurance, it's time to choke stop. He gets dismissed. Also, like I said, the window tent uh, is going to be above 35%, okay? Um, you see sign right there. Definitely. Not saying that you're uh, anything, just saying that you're aware of the court date yeah. of March 6, 2024, in the Green Bar City, uh, City Court. Definitely. So, what if, what if I don't sign it? Uh, if you don't sign it, you'll be going to jail. Fine, sign it. I'll put it under, uh, put it under uh, uh, distress and uh, coercion. Sir, how about she makes her own decisions? Yeah, because I'm her legal counsel. Against the law for you to obstruct a uh, legal work from being heard. So, sure, if you want so to go to jail, I keep all safety on it. You're, you're, you're full of crap. Okay. Well, I didn't say I don't know. I asked and asked and asked and asked and didn't get an answer to the dialogue. Insurance. Hey, buddy, just look up the right to travel whenever right. you get in your car. And then you come out and give me an apology. Uh, you don't have a right to travel. It's a privilege. It's not a privilege. It's a God given right in the common law jurisdiction. It's not, you don't even know what jurisdiction means. Holy shit, you're dumb. Cause the pot came cold, the kettle of black. You can take it off. You can take it off yourself or you can go to a tent shop and they can do it. You should do Greenbrier jurisdiction. You are something else. I can't believe you said that. As an added bonus, you get to watch him cry and carry on about how he was slammed in his comments, how everyone else was wrong but him, the usual sovereign citizen crap. Big shout out to Ben Ballion for finding this. This is a gem. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Enjoy. What up, TikTok? YouTube? Okay, y'all over here. Y'all are starting to fucking kill me with your comments on my Tennessee Tyrants video. Now, to be honest, I could have handled that shit better. This is my first, second time. I could have handled it much better. True that. I take my loans. However, the way you absolutely retarded, retarded meaning slow. I have nothing against mentally handicapped. I am mentally handicapped myself. But you motherfuckers are slow reading these fucking comments. Now, I don't have the time to chase you down back all the way back to your, your parents' house or your auntie's house where you're living on the couch or you're in, 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 your, in your old bedroom where you were in the kid. You, you, you're still there and you're 45 on a fucking keyboard talking shit over the internet because it's the only way you can do it. And I don't got time to reply to all your comments. Nor do I want to. So I'm going to do this one time. And I hope y'all are paying attention. And maybe you can process this and get it through your head. I was illegally infringed upon a while back. The judge in the case told me that he's going to give me 26 years for inter impeding with court proceedings because I wanted to represent myself. Hmm. What's the hmm? Well, I, better, I really better represent myself now, huh? I immediately dug into the law, the real law. In my quest to not be bulldozed over by some bullies, I came across this dude who really knew his shit. The Teach. For Patriot Solutions. Mr. Antonio Luis Fryer. And guess what? I didn't get 26 years. 
I didn't get a year. I listened to what he had to say along with Mr. Difficult and Dr. Amelia Sutton. And I didn't get any time. What I got was the prosecutor standing there telling the judge that they no longer wish to uh, press charges against me after trying to make me take part in their unlawful contract for over two years. No, nope, they're done. No longer want to prosecute. What you idiots are refusing to understand is that under the Constitution, you can only be tried under two jurisdictions. Now, what's a jurisdiction? What's juris mean? Legal? What does diction mean? Words? Legal words. They teach. One of the two jurisdictions is common law. And under the common law jurisdiction, and we, ha we have maritime admiralty. Common law jurisdiction is the law of the land. God's law. Maritime is the law of the water. Anyways, what criminal jurisdiction do you think that we on the land fall under? Maritime? I don't think so. No, we are to be tried under common law. Common law says that if there is not an injured party with a sworn affidavit and you can't face your accuser, then there's no fucking crime. Okay? Say what you want to say for, for me to read the Tenth Amendment and all this other bullshit. And the states have the freedom to make their own laws, yada, yada, yada. But first it is written that, quote, it provides that state courts are bound by and state constitutions subordinate to the Supreme Law. However, federal and federal statutes and treaties must be within the parameters of what? The Constitution. The same Constitution that every public servant takes an oath to defend. What? The Constitution. And furthermore, what we're talking about aren't even laws. They were voted upon. We're talking codes and statutes made to generate money. How the hell are you going to over? How the hell are they going to overrule the supreme law of the land that we are supposed to be tried under? And traveling is not a mere privilege to be infringed upon, like you idiots keep saying. It is your God-given right. To travel with you and all your shit in any way that you see fit, whether it be horse drawn buggy or a fucking motor vehicle, you're not to be fucked with while doing so. Especially if you're sitting in a driveway at a friend's house at 11 o'clock at night and you have the entire city's police department screech up on you at 80 miles an hour, sirens going. Tires squealing, hands on guns, to get us for the back glass of a pickup truck being too dark. We're not talking about the front windows, the side windows, or any fucking thing, not that it matters. Why didn't they pull us over when they saw us getting fucking ice cream earlier, if it were so bad? Hmm? Yeah, I was heated. I didn't have the right words, but I knew what the fuck I was talking about, and I knew what the fuck I meant. He didn't. And it's his fucking job. That's what we pay them for. He should know that motherfucker. You had two male officers pull a girl out of a truck and frisk her like she was a man. Is that cool, too? They think they're God, and they're running over us, and we don't got to put up with that bullshit. So comment all you want. 
You'll not be getting any responses from me. Just know that you don't know dick. Or you should grow some balls and defend yourself for fuck's sakes. Class is over. Teach, uh, may I be seated? Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it around. I'm also very interested in what you have to say, so please leave a comment below. Until next time, later days.